Hello and welcome to another version of The Lightest and Best, where you look at the lightest and best offerings from a variety of knife manufacturers. And today we have one of the lightest knives made. It is the Boker Plus Urban Trapper Petite. It's designed by Brad Zinker, who lives in Florida. It's a smaller version of the Urban Trapper. I happen to have a copy here. And it is a wonderful knife. It's manufactured in Japan, or at least according to Massdrop, it's manufactured in Japan. If you look on the Knife Center site, they say theirs are manufactured in China. I don't know if one of them have wrong information or they have two different sites of manufacture. But anyway, it's not a U.S. made blade. The specifications of the blade, uh, the blade length is 2.75 inches. The original Urban Trapper had a blade of 3.5 inches. The handle length, which is titanium with a carbon fiber scale on this one, is 3.43 inches, giving a total knife length of 6.125 inches. The weight of the knife is 1.1 ounce. I made a video uh, called the 20 best ultralight knives and I'm going to put a card up so that you can review that video if you're interested in it but on that video the lightest knives I had were 1.2 ounces and this knife beats them at 1.1 ounce it's a very light knife and so we're happy to have it as part of our crew so I want to compare it to some of the uh, other knives here is the uh, Boker Urban Trapper the regular one and we have the Benchmade Valet, which is a little larger. We have the Spyderco Dragonfly, which is a little smaller. The Dragonfly weighs in at 1.2 ounces. We have the Spartan Metis, which is a little larger. We have the William Henry Westcliff which weighs in at 1.2 ounces, that is a little larger. And lastly, we have the Hoback MK Ultra, which is around the same size, it may be a titch longer. The blade of the Urban Trapper Petite is made of VG10, and as you remember, this was the sprint run that was made in S35VN on the Urban Trapper that Massdrop reliefed with the uh, tight anodized titanium scales. This just has the regular VG10. It's made in a clip point blade with a high hollow ground and a satin finish. Note that there is no re sharpening ricasso on this, which is a corner they cut because on the Urban Trapper regular size when there is a sharpening ricasso, no sharpening ricasso on this one. The method of deployment of the knife is by flipper. It flips well, however the detent is such that if you want it to fail you can get it to fail. But if you give a nice firm flip it flips out nicely. The pivot is on ball bearings and the handle is a stonewash titanium and this one has carbon fiber overlays. Note that they also make it in G10 overlays. The lock on the knife is a frame lock. And, and I just want to point out, it looks like a liner lock. The only distinction in a liner lock and a frame lock in this situation is that the frame is not from the carbon fiber. The frame is from the titanium. The carbon fiber is just an overlay set on top of the titanium frame even though the titanium frame is very thin and delicate. We're going to call this one for that reason a frame lock. The pocket clip I really like. It is an embedded clip. It has flat head countersunk screws so that there is nothing between the handle scale and the top of the clip. I want to compare it with the Benchmade Valet which didn't do there a uh, loop over clip as well. As you can tell, this is surface mounted on top of the G10 and it has round headed screws so that 
the, the bottom side of the clip and the rounded headed screws occupy 50% of the space that should be used to get your pocket into. This is a much better design and they have holes here so that you can disassemble those screws and have access to them. The ergonomics of the knife are what it is. It is a thin knife and so it feels thin in the hand, but there aren't really any hot spots. The construction of the knife is an open construction having just two attachment points, the pivot and the one posterior standoff, so it's easy to clean out. The action of the knife, as I've mentioned, is by flipper. It flips well, however the detent is such that if you want it to fail, you can make it fail. There are some knives that you just can't make fail. This is one that you could or you couldn't either way. There is minimal signage on the knife and it's only uh, on the blade. On the show side of the blade is the Boker Plus emblem, and on the clip side is the Brad Zinker BZ Maker Mark and the Steel Type VG10. On the spine of the blade is the lot number of the knife. This is 0470. So what are my impressions of the Urban Trapper Petite? I really like it. This channel is called The Lightest and Best and I have this whole segment on the lightest and best knives, and this really is the knife that is lightest and best at 1.1 ounces. It is wonderful. But are there opportunities for improvement? Sure. The flipper on this knife is not as strong as its big brother, the Urban Trapper, but it functions very nicely. And the steel, uh, I got a little spoiled with the sprint run of the Urban Trapper, which offered a steel and an S35EN. This is only a VG10 steel, so it's a little bit of a downgrade. And it saddens me a little bit that they put a sharpening Ricasso on the Urban Trapper but neglected to put a sharpening Ricasso on the Petite version. It's a corner that really shouldn't be cut. And I don't know how difficult it is to cut your blade blanks with a sharpening Ricasso. I wouldn't think it would be too much trouble, but then I don't make knives. But what do I like about this knife? As I mentioned, at 1.1 ounces, there is a very small amount of knives that you can really hold with a four-finger grip and come in at that light weight. It completely disappears in your pocket, and the thinness of the knife disappears in your pocket, too. And I love that it's made of quality materials. The handle is uh, stonewashed titanium with a carbon fiber overlay. It really feels good in the hand. And I like the clip, as I've mentioned. They took the time to embed it and use flathead countersunk screws so that nothing impedes the entry of your pants. So, the beauty of this knife is really in its lightness and the simplicity of its design. It would be perfect for a gentleman's carry and to open your mail, not so much for hard use. But if you want a small ultralight knife, then I think the Boker Urban Trapper Petite may be the knife for you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave comments in the section. Let me know what you think about the Urban Trapper Petite, and we'll see you on the next Lightest and Best House of Wisdom video. Mm -hmm.